Hi, this is Stefano, and here we are in the document detail page. First, let's go through what you see on this page, and then we'll see what features you can access from here. I will also give you a quick explanation of the pre-translate feature and the revision feature. From this page, you can see all the translations you added to this document. You see the status, the translator you added, and if there are any warnings. There are two ways of translating a document in Redicon. You can invite a translator to translate your document online using the web editor, or you can export the sentences in an exchange file, have them translated, and then re-import the translated exchange file. If you invited a translator, here you'll see their name and you'll be able to change the assigned translator by clicking on this icon. By clicking on the name of the language, you can access the online web editor from which you'll be able to type or check the translations while they're being completed. By clicking on the export phrases arrow, you can download the exchange file that you can then send to a translator. And by clicking on the import phrases arrow, you can upload the translated exchange file. Before downloading a translated document, you or the translator should lock the translations. You can do so from this page by clicking on this icon. And finally, you can click on this icon to download a translated document. There are other two important features that you can access from this page, the pre-translate feature and the revision feature. The pre-translate feature allows you to translate the sentences in your document automatically. It will use the translations you already did in Radicom or machine translations. So when you use the pre-translate, we suggest to have a translator proofread the translations added to your document. Use the revision feature when you have to upload a document you already translated in the past. In this case, my base document is in English and I'm translated it in three languages. I can go back in InDesign, edit the original document in English directly inside InDesign, and then upload it as a revision. Redocon will add all the previous translations of each language to the new document you uploaded. And then your team will have to translate only newly added sentences or sentences where the context has changed.